In this video, I'm going to share with you how to stop like the most unstoppable passing concept in Madden 22. I have to tell you, this concept is insane. If you watch the Madden 22 uh, MCS Ultimate Wildcard, you'll know exactly what I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to show you, at least for my money, the best tip or the best way that I know how to stop this. And I actually posted a video about gun tight. Um, a couple of weeks ago kind of talking about some of the principles of how we can actually go about covering this formation When I see somebody come out in this I used to literally shake man I was so scared to play this because I don't have any clue how to defend it. I hate personally. I hate running it I I hate compression sets I, I just I always I always have struggled to run them and I struggle to defend them because I don't quite understand how they work to be honest with you um, but anyways we're going to talk today about how to defend it. Like I said, it's the best concept in the game by far. Um, I'm going to give you a defense that can defend it. If you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. I upload new videos every single day. I also want to let you know that if you want to get my full ebook on this, uh, I've got a, I've got 15 of them. So join the Patreon. We've got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon. You get them all for just $10 a month by joining. I'll put a link in the description, but the defense that I'm talking about today, there's a much more expanded and expounded version, um, a full ebook on it um, in the membership, where it actually shows you how to do this against multiple formations, multiple situations, and really walks you step by step through it. That being said, let's jump into this video and talk about four verticals, the double wheel freaking dilemma play that Henry pretty much runs to perfection it's insanely hard to guard and I'm gonna show you a couple different ways we can run this and we're actually going to use uh, cover four quarters but I'm not gonna come out in that I want to uh, just kind of do some meta stuff real quick and then we'll talk about what you can do um, and how you can run it so so anyways I'm just gonna come out in uh, cover three kind of the meta if you will and what you'll notice this is the Mabel why this is so good we're gonna flat both of these receivers and then we're gonna streak this guy uh, mixing and what you can do is you can also motion this guy to the outside just to kind of help with the spacing but what you'll see is the running back should be wide open so that's gonna kind of draw their user um, which it, it certainly did and in the game Henry played against uh, spam and buttons one of the ball I respect both of those players a ton um, he ran this concept against him. Spamming's uh, user had to basically defend the running back and the wheel to the left, which what it did was left this wheel to the right for a low ball. And you saw Henry just absolutely, I mean, just abuse this concept. This was one of his better passing plays, uh, one of his more consistent passing plays. Now, most people think that it only works against zone, but it actually works against man too. And the way that it works against man coverage is you're just going to low ball them and you're going to secure catch them so you see that right there i'm able to low ball and i'm able to kind of cut it off uh, again let me show you one more time uh, and just for purpose of illustration here uh, i'm actually going to just kind of leave some of the pressure but again I, I want you to watch the low ball mechanic so you just kind of low ball once he passes inside and if you see if, if you if you have bad timing and it does take a little bit of skill to run this because if you have bad timing you know then something like that could happen but typically you're right there you kind of throw it and you aggressive catch it okay it's just really hard to stop that's the bottom line if you've played Madden 22 if you've played compression at all you know this is really hard to stop and to be honest with you it's really hard to stop for match coverage too um, it, it, it's hard to stop no matter what you do but cover four quarters I think gives you the best chance I'm gonna explain why most people don't run match against tight. I didn't run match against tight because I didn't understand how it worked. But what you get with this is it's all in relationship to where the running back is. You want your nickel corner to be on the same side as the running back. So you see here, um, this corner, uh, Molden, he's on the same side as running back. If the running back was on the other side, then I would flip my formation. It's really important because you need this guy right here to be on the same side as the running back. And what this is going to make for us is we're going to defend the left side as if it was gun bunch. The right side is basically not at all like that. It's actually much different. So the reason it matters is if you watch, if I run this concept to the left, you're going to notice that 
you know, the running back is kind of there, um, kind of there. Obviously, you have a user in that area, so, you know, kind of bear with me on that. But the, the running back is kind of there. But this wheel to the left side, if I lowball that, it's there, right? I could throw that. So how do we how do we kind of get around it? Well, one way we can get around it is by, you know, go ahead and press up, pinch your defense, and then just for purpose of illustration here, we're going to drop this guy, Autry, into a three-rec. This guy, Brown, we're going to man him up on the running back, and then, then we're going to kind of show what this is going to look like. So now, you know, now that they know the running back is going to be guarded, now you'll see the match play that significantly better, right? I mean, it might... It can kind of bite it. It can kind of bite down on it. But really where you find, um, and, and, and this is where you know a lot of people hit this if you're playing match, um, really where you find the route that's the backbreaker against match is this right here, this wheel to the tight end. And what you'll notice is this wheel to the tight end will be 100% wide open. For whatever reason, the quarter flat defender on the right side, um, he really does have a, a hard time stopping this. You see here, see how he does not guard the tight end whatsoever, and that tight end's wide open. So what we like to do uh, to stop this, and the reason why, and I've talked about this about tight a ton, we want to take this guy, Jenkins, and man him up onto um, the outside receiver. Okay, that's step one. Step two is we want to take this guy, Landry, and we want to go ahead and bluff blitz him and what that means is he's going to kind of deal with the running back for us. And then on this back side with Dupree, I like to either spy him or drop him into a vertical hook. And then we're going to use this guy and kind of watch that left side. Now, uh, we're going to kind of take this one step at a time. So first things first, let's talk, let's talk about the concept on the right. What you're going to notice is with that vert hook and that man up, you got a pretty good shot. Like you could click on and pick that. You've got, get, you've got coverage on that route, okay? Um, you've got a pretty good shot at stopping this wheel here with a vertical hook here and a man up there. And then, of course, you know the, the, the rest of the adjustments. Let me show it to you one more time. Again, go ahead and pass, commit. It does certainly help uh, with the coverage. And what you'll see here, low ball. See how they stay inside? See how he stays inside? So if I click on him, He's not out leveraged to the point that he's not going to be able to make a play on the ball. That's kind of the big piece I want you to see. Okay, so then now, let's say, for example, uh, we're going to look more closely here at the other side of this. Okay, so the other side of this, whoops, um, is going to look like this. So again, we got a vertical hook, got our main coverage. If you don't vertical hook this guy, by the way, let me show one last time on the right, and then I'll show you the other side. So you'll see here, notice the quarter flat plays it perfectly, plays it just fine. So you don't have to vertical hook it. I just think it helps as another layer of the defense. But, you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to, okay? So anyways, now let's take a look at this. So um, if we get something like this right here, one of the big keys for me is we're going to back off that guy. If he motions him out, we're going to back him off. That's going to keep us from having, you know, too complicated of coverage, in my opinion. And then you're going to have this, and then let's say you have a spy and a man up. So you've already made all these adjustments anyway, and then they do the motion, and then you you just back that guy off, right? Well, now I want you to watch first the running back, and I'm not going to use anything here. Um, I just want you to watch the running back. You'll notice that that guy's going to guard him, and he's going to play it pretty well. Okay, so the running back is really not an option. Even if that running back were to go on a wheel route, it'd be the same basic thing. Sometimes you'll get that where they'll put the running back on a wheel. You still have the three wreck in the area. Because really what this does is it, it's going to tell Landry, you're going to be in man coverage on a running back, for lack of a better word, right? Um, he's not technically in man coverage, but he kind of is with how he's going to play. Okay? And then lastly, this wheel route to Boyd. To me, this is the biggest uh, thing you have to be aware of which is why we like to back him off. Now, I'm gonna leave my user out of it, and I just want you to watch the general coverage. What you should see here is, you see he gets glitched, but the inside quarter zone will play it. Okay, the inside quarter zone will play it. So, um, the big takeaway here, as a QB, if you're watching this, is if you see a defense like this, 
one thing you might consider doing, um, especially if you think that they're probably running this concept, you can kind of do the same thing we did on the right, where we man up Chase, and then that quarter flat on the left should play it a lot better. As you see right there, see him play it a lot better. The low ball is still there. So really your user is going to be working to that left side, that left-hand side of this formation, um, if you're getting a lot of wheel routes, okay? If that's the number one uh, concept that they're going toward, okay? Uh, let me show you one last thing here, and that is the um, if you bring this, this guy, like these inside guys, just bring them down just a little bit, um, you're going to be in a little bit better spot. So, you know, of course, you've got your concept set up. They're motioning out, and now you've got that quarter pressed up so he can come into the area a little bit sooner uh, than he normally would. They throw right there, and as you see, I mean, that's a bang-bang play. Now, again, your user, because we already showed you the other side of the field, and the running back is covered. You have the freedom to be able to go over there if you want to. I'm just saying that now you've got kind of a general peace of mind in saying you've got a chance to pick most of that stuff. So anyways, guys, that's four verticals. This is a really hard concept to, to stop. Um, it truly is a hard uh, route combo to stop for a number of reasons. Um, let's say, for example, they give you something like this, and then they're going to use that running back wheel. Uh, one last thing here on this. That's why we have this kind of three rec. So um, now what you're going to notice is he should hang with the wheel to the back. See him get out there right in the area. He's right in that throwing lane. So you got a linebacker there. That's probably an interception or at least a SWAT. So that's how you can kind of use this stuff. Um, again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to learn more about coverages like this, you want to learn more about shutting down pretty much every offense with match. I really encourage you to join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to the Patreon in the description of the video, and you can sign up today for just $10. For $10 a month, you're going to unlock everything that we have over there. I've got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks available uh, with more coming. So thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get the Patreon membership, head on down to the description and click the link and uh, go check it out.